Should you work an extra year to avoid retiring during a recession? I get this a lot, man. I get emails from people who are on my wait list. Um, I just, I, I, a lot of comments says, man, I'm not gonna retire now because it's a recession. I'll wait till things gets back to normal. And look, I can't tell you what to do. You gotta do what you gotta do. I, that's all there is to it. But I, I always, I kind of, it just makes me cringe a little bit. Cause I was like, who says things are gonna get back to normal or on your time frame? Where, where is it written that things will get back to normal at a time that's more suitable for you? I, I you know, what's normal? Was it during the Great Depression? I mean, I, was it normal during the 68 to 70, 82? Was it normal in 2000, one and two? Then we had a significant downturn in growth stocks potentially, and essentially everything in 2002. Then we had a, a gradual up, then we got smoked again in 2008. I, uh, I'm not here to tell you to retire. I'm just saying the idea that there's some semblance of normalty that's awaiting for you a year to two to five years from now if you're in japan i'm gonna wait until the things get back to normal well you're still waiting i don't have an answer i don't have an answer i'm i am amazed though that i think i think a lot of people don't give themselves enough credit i i think if <laughs> let's put it this way you can travel very light and i don't mean tra literally i don't mean literally traveling i mean you can live very light a lot lighter than you think i'm telling you right now and i especially if you don't have debt i don't know what else to say this if you don't have debt you can get by with a lot less income than i think you need and i think a lot of people think they have this huge actually, i don't know i just think they have this thought process that they need more than they do if times get tough, they're going to need all this money or they're going to have some big long-term care issue. And I'm like, folks, 7,500 people die in the United States every day, every day. Of those 7,500 people, how many were eating cat food? Not that many, man. Not that many. People who are eating cat, and I'm using that as a, um, a metaphor, the people who are eating cat food, I can almost assure you they were renting, they had mental problems, or they had a lot of debt. I doubt they're watching this channel. I doubt they were. I just, I, I, if you have no debt, you can live very, very light. Now, yes, the cost of stuff's going up, but I just saw, to, I was, and I'm in Cape Cod right now. I saw a lady selling a, a dozen eggs for five bucks. All right? dozen eggs for five bucks now they might be more than that grocery store i think they doubled in price my from my understanding i asked my wife and she wasn't sure but i think they have gone up but you can still get a dozen eggs at a lady and a freaking raisin from raisin chickens for five bucks i mean that's that's a fact jack you could you go to a local farm and get uh, vegetables and fruits for cheap yeah and when i say cheap i'm saying cheaper than you could go at the grocery store Remember the grocery store, they got to take it. They got, they got to pay somebody to, to grow it. They got to pay somebody to package it. They got to pay somebody to ship it. All that is middleman, middleman. And they still got to make a profit. And I don't begrudge them on a profit, but think of all the middleman in there. You go to your local farm, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> all that middleman's wasted is gone. Now you can buy it. Obviously you have to pay for the farmer. He's got to make a living. I grant you that. But do you know how chickens are raised? I mean, how many eggs come from chickens? A freaking boatload, dudes. Boatloads. A lot of them are wasted. You know how many, like I was talking to this lady the other day, actually, when I was getting my rental car. And she says, man, I have so many tomatoes in my garden, I have to throw them away half the time. Exactly. Exactly. So you got chicken, tomatoes, we got vegetables all over the place that you can get just from a local guy or a local lady. You know what I'm saying? Hell, when we lived in Dayton, Virginia, our neighbor Larry and Anna Lee, they'd give us all kinds of stuff because they had more than they could consume. I mean, is that going to pay for, you know, price of, you know, living some freaking high life or going to Cancun or wherever, I don't know, whatever, no, but sustainable. Absolutely. All right. So we got food because food is the biggest priority. Uh, obviously water and air. I get that, but food, you can't do anything about the air. You can't do anything about the water. I mean, you should try to avoid fluoride. I, you know, you should get a filter, 
be it a Berkey or clearly filtered like what I have or reverse osmosis, 100%. You got to get rid of that fluoride. The fluoride's not good. But anyway, you can get rid of that. You can take it. You can't do anything about the air. That's a fact. All right, so now you got food. How do you get your local food? Well, you find some guy who's growing it, man. And you get food on the cheap. All right, so now we got three things. We got air, food, and water. All right, now you might not be living on freaking ribeye all the time, but you can still get meat. You can contact a local farmer and say, I need a half a cow. <laughs> he'll freaking, he'll produce it for you. They'll chop it up. They'll put it in vacuum sealed bags. You put it in an ice box. And you just have, that's your, again, you're eliminating the cost of all the other processing that goes to the grocery store. You see what I'm saying? And you know it's good for you too. It's better because it'll be grass fed. Three things eliminated right there. Or, I mean, you still got to pay for it. Still not going to be cheap because fertilizer, the chicken feed and all that. But still, man, a local guy growing chickens, you can get eggs easy cheap. Easy cheap. You can get meat easy cheap. When I say cheap, I'm not saying it's like, you know, freaking 99 cents a pound. But I'm saying it's not as, as you just, this is what I'm saying. Ingenuity, man. Ingenuity is not chaos. That's the alternative to order. It's ingenuity. How do I find ways to make my dollar stretch? But the problem is you can't do this if you're going, if you like, now I was just talking about man Pete yesterday. His wife used to work in Chelsea, you know what I'm saying? And, and they live in Gloucester. It takes, what she say, an hour, 15, 20 minutes each day to go to work. And apparently Chelsea's not a great place to be. I don't know anything about it. But anyway, I'm like, and so she stopped. Now she works in Gloucester. She saved herself two hours at least every day. That's two hours now she could go find a farmer. That's two hours if they don't have a garden, but they could raise, you know, raise a garden. You know what I'm saying? I mean, that's two hours she just saved herself. I... And then there's no guarantee that a year from, I mean, think about it like this too. You're like, I'm going to work another year. I mean, look, if you got debts, I get it. What I'm saying. But if you don't have debts, I'm like, what is another year going to do? Well, I'll have more money saved. Will you? Because your 401k could certainly plop. The price of goods could certainly go. I mean, there's so many uncertainties out there. The idea I'm going to work, especially if you know your job's killing you. I can't tell you how many people I've talked to that know for a fact their job is killing them. I just, oh man. Now, if you have debt, yeah, man, I completely agree. If you have debt and you're relying on your portfolio to pay down your debt, that's a problem. 100%. If you don't have debt, though, and you're like, well, I just, I feel better if I have an extra 25000 saved. I, dude, is that going <laughs> to, I don't know. Right, look, you got to do what you got to do. Obviously, get on your knees and pray. And say, God, give me guidance. But the idea that an extra year is going to solve anything, I just, I don't think so. I don't think so. But you do what's good for you. Right. Love your thoughts. We'll see you.